Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve textbook exercises of phrasal verbs which you have in your semester 4 English syllabus. So, this phrasal verbs you have in unit 1 vocabulary section. So, first of all, let's see the meaning of what is phrasal verb. So, it is a phrase which consists of a verb and a preposition, verb plus preposition or adverb, which together function as a phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs usually have idiomatic meaning, that is their meaning is not obvious from the individual word that makes up the phrase. Which means the base verb which we are using to make phrasal verb, that meaning is totally different. The base verb meaning will totally different in the phrasal verbs. For example, if we see in these sentences, children hold their parents' hands when they cross road. So here this base verb which is hold which is a verb which means to grasp something but here when we read write this same hold but along with this preposition on it will completely change its meaning and it will become wait before it was grasp something but now it will change its meaning when we use as a phrasal verb this verb so that's why only this phrasal verb meaning is not obvious from the individual word that make up in the phrasal verbs and I have already made the video on phrasal verbs in detail you can see the link is under the description box of this video today in this video we are going to solve textbooks exercises which you have in your English reader so let's start the first exercise so students here in this first exercise you have to choose the correct phrasal verb from the options at the end of the sentences. So they have given you two options so you have to choose which one is suitable to the, this blank. So, and also we will see the meaning of these two phrasal verbs so that it will be easy for us to choose in the blank. To select in the blank. So let's read the first one. I dash but no one has seen my mobile. So which one is correct here? Ask out or asked around. First of all let's see the meaning of asked out. What is the meaning of asked out here? So here asked out is nothing but to invite something. Someone to invite. But here in this ask around means to inquire something. To ask something. So now you can judge here which one is correct. So this one will be correct answer. So ask out means to invite someone and ask around means to inquire something. So this will be your correct answer. Now let us read the second one. The fireman had to dash the kitchen to rescue the resident. Now which one is suitable to this blank? Break in or break out? First of all let's see the meaning of these two phrasal verbs. So break in is nothing but which means something is broken into two pieces and this break out is nothing but enter into area with some force. So this will be your correct answer break out. The fireman had to break out the kitchen to rescue the resident. Now next one is my boss dashed the meeting because of heavy rain. Called off and call, call back. So here students first of all the meaning of called off is nothing but to stop something or to cancel something. But here call back is nothing but call second time means call again. So here boss not call again but he cancelled the meeting. We are talking about meeting. So called off means cancel the meeting here. Stop the meeting and cancel the meeting. Now next one. Don't forget to take the room keys when you dash. Check in or check out. So check in is nothing but to enter in some place or check out means to leave the hotel or place. So students take is nothing but when we are entering into the hotel that's why take is there. If give was there so that when we can use check out there because give means while going you are giving the keys. But here take is there which means you are entering in the hotel. So check in is your correct answer here. Check in. Now next one is. Diabetic patients are advised to dash sweets and oily food. Cut off and cut out. Which one is correct answer here? So here students cut off is nothing but to stop or to make an end of something. And cut out is nothing but reduce the size. So here our answer correct answer is diabetic patients are advised to stop the sweets and oily food. So that's why we are taking cut off here. This one will be our correct answer cut off. Now in the sixth one. 
वी डैश द बस वेन इट रीच आर स्टॉप गॉट डॉन और गॉट ऑफ सो द मीनिंग ऑफ गॉट आउट इज नथिंग बट लीव अ प्लेस और स्केप फ्रॉम देर एंड गॉट ऑफ मीन्स गेटिंग डाउन सो वी डैश द बस वेन इट रीच अवर स्टॉप सो वॉट वी डू वेन वी रीच अवर स्टॉप वी गॉट ऑफ विच मीन्स वी गेट डाउन सो दिस विल बी योर करेक्ट आंसर वन दिस इज योर टाइम टू डैश योर ओल्ड पेरेंट्स नाउ सो विच वन इज सुटेबल हियर इट इज वेरी कॉमन लुक ऑफ्टर मीन्स टू टेक केयर ऑफ समबडी और समथिंग एंड लुक फॉर इज नथिंग बट मीन्स टू सर्च समथिंग सो हियर वी कैन यूज दिस लुक ऑफ्टर मीन्स टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर पेरेंट्स दिस इज योर टाइम टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर ओल्ड पेरेंट्स नाउ लुक ऑफ्टर विच वी योर करेक्ट आंसर she loves to dash with friends on weekends so what she loves she loves to hang out or she loves to hang on hang out means to spend time and hang on means to wait she loves to spend some time with friends on weekends so this hang out is the correct answer hang on means wait i dash and old friend of mine at the theater so what ran into a ran out so here student ran out ran into is nothing but to see someone and ran out means shortage of something so here the correct answer is ran into i ran into an old friend of mine at the theater she dash her father both love to read books so takes after or take off first of all let's see meaning takes after takes after is nothing but to see someone as an example means you like someone and you want to be like that person so means you are impressed with them and you want to follow them that person so here she takes after her father means she want to follow her father and both love to read books and takes off is nothing but to remove something so this one your correct answer so here students in this second exercise complete the phrasal verbs with the correct particle they have given you here some particles you have to choose which one is correct here so i don't know where my phone is so what you will do i must look off look for or look on or look at what you will do you will look for means you will search for your phone i must look for means you want to search your mobile but here if we take off here so uh, look off is nothing but means to, to put off by one's facial expression so that we cannot use and on also we cannot use because look on means you watch something without getting involved and look out is nothing but means a carefully study or mentally so this look for means to search something this is your correct answer now let's see the next one fill so fill dash the form with a pencil fill up the form fill with the form or fill in on what which one is correct here so fill in is correct because we have to fill the space completely which is given to you blank space you have to fill it so this fill in correct and up we cannot use here because fill up means to fill some container like fill up my car's tank with petrol or fill up that container so when we use to fill something some container that time we use up here and along with this uh, fill when we have to fill the space with our words that time we have to use in fill in the form with a pencil this will be your correct answer next one the music is too loud please turn the volume dash what you will do if music is loud you will turn on or turn out or turn down or turn off the volume you will turn down the volume means you will lower your volume now next one turn dash the lights when you leave the room so when you get in the room you will turn on the light but you, when you leave the room what you will do you will turn off the light so you will turn off the light now put dash your slippers when you enter the bathroom so here only in this fourth we have seen off is nothing but means to stop something so here what we have to take when you enter into the bathroom what you will do you will put on your slippers means you will wear something not you stop something but you wear something so that's why put on your slippers now let's read the next one please switch dash the tv i want to watch the match so which phrasal verb you can use here along with this switch switch watch what particle you can use here off you cannot use switch off means to turn off because you want to see match that's why you need to on it so switch on we have to use which this will be a correct answer switch on the tv
now the next one take dash your shoes when you enter the computer room take out take on take off or take off so so many times we have discussed in the last two examples take off is nothing but to remove so this one we have to take take off your shoes when you enter the computer room next one the food was stale i had to throw it dash so this away already i have given this is your correct answer off we cannot use away we have to use throw it away because it is uh, suitable with this throw it away next one the fireman put the dash the fire put off the fire put on in or out what he did he put out the fire which means he stopped something completely so out we have to take here put out the fire hurry we dash we are going late so what we use this is a common phrasal verb which we use hurry up so this we use hurry up we are getting late which means to do fast or act something fast now let us see the third exercise here you have to choose the most suitable phrasal verbs from among those given in the box and you have to use this and you have to fill the blank so let's start this first one the administration wants to dash a change in the work culture so to make some changes which phrasal verb is suitable so this bring about is your answer because bring about is nothing but to make some changes so this will be your correct answer bring about the second one is old photos never fail to dash old memories so what can we use here old photos never fail to bring back bring back is nothing but means to recall something so old photos never fail to bring back old memories next one because of the hot summer the parents want the school to dash the exam dates what parents want before the summer they want to schedule the exams earlier so to schedule something earlier we say bring forward so this will be your correct answer for the third one next one no one expected the new player to dash a sensational victory so here we'll take uh, bring off because the meaning of bring off is nothing but escape so no one expected the new player to escape a sensational victory means to lose the sensational victory so bring off we'll take here next one the publisher hopes to dash the book next month so what actually these publishers do they launch their books so the meaning of to launch something or to produce something will take this one bring out this will be your correct answer bring out which means to launch something so here the produce the publisher hopes to bring out the book next month means he want to launch the book next month now let us see the next one the opposition party tried hard to dash the government so here the opposition party tried hard to bring down the government so this will be your correct answer bring down so this one will be your sixth one bring down is nothing but means to lose their powers they wanted to lose the opposite party's power now the next one the government wants to dash a new law to deal with the cyber crimes means here the government want to bring in bring in is nothing but introduce a new thing so that to introduce something new new law to deal with the cyber crimes to so the meaning introduce will take this bring in the seventh one bring in is nothing but to introduce something eight one his casual comments uh, sometimes dash is strong reactions means uh, the person is there he comments casual comments because of his casual comment that give rise to new problem so what we can use here bring forth bring forth is nothing but which means it leads to new problem so his casual comments leads to new problem means bring forth next one he was advised to dash his proposal at the meeting so here he was advised to raise the matter for the discussion so what we can use here bring up or bring on we'll take bring up which means to raise something for discussion 
so he was advised to discuss his proposal at the meeting so the meaning of discuss is nothing but bring up now the last one is classical music does not dash a headache so bring on this is the last one tenth one bring on is nothing but cause something unpleasant means something unpleasant happens so classical music does not cause unpleasant so that's why classical music does not bring on a headache means they don't be unpleasant so student this is all about the phrasal verbs exercises which you have in your english textbook